beginning with John chapter 3, verse 26. And John's disciples came to him and said, Rabbi, he who has been with you beyond the Jordan, to whom you have borne witness, which is of course Jesus, he is baptizing and all are coming to him. And John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. You yourselves know that I said, I'm not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and bears witness of him, he rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. And so this joy of mine has been made full. He must increase and I must decrease. And so as Christ begins to rise in us, as he begins to rise in the church he is building, pastors, leaders should be willing, should be excited to decrease, should be willing as the kingdom of God begins to rise, should be willing to take back seats should be willing to let Jesus do his thing among us. Why? Because that's our role. Our role is to let Jesus take control. It's not our role to uh, second guess the move of the Holy Spirit, to deny the role of the Holy Spirit, to uh, settle people down and tell them they're not hearing God and it's not God moving in their midst to try to stay in the main seat to try to stay in the main place of leadership Jesus must increase we must decrease that's the entire purpose of who we are no matter what place we are in leadership no matter where we are in the church Jesus is building we are as those crying in the wilderness make straight the way of the Lord we are declaring behold the Lamb of God when there are miracles when great things happen when we are sharing from the word we are declaring behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world and as people gather to him we rightfully take a back seat we rightfully go sit down and let Jesus have his way what's my declaration to you today behold there he is the Lamb of God he increases and I decrease God bless you